ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますOpponent, a very experienced one at that. But of course, we've seen all that. And this particular、uh, match was from the, the World Tour. y o u s a r u s e barbed wire boards, putting her through announce tables, and also this, probably one of the, the most vicious finishing maneuvers in OJFWA, her version of the Burning Hammer. However, What will happen during this rematch of these two? Well, I guess we're about to find out because there we have Sakura Sayaka herself. And as I said, this is a show of rematches. And announced previously, last week, we saw that we, were, we are also going to see Shi Xing taking on Yubari again. Last time, Yubari was the victor. What's gonna happen this time? Well, that's why we have this show. We're going to find out. Sakura Sayaka looking very determined, very ready for this encounter. But is she really ready for what's in store for her? Because that woman right there, the cat, Misato Kubodera, she is. Vicious. And I know I said that before, but it bears repeating. Extremely experienced and extremely vicious. She loves the use of plunder, anything she can find under the ring or in the crowd. Look at that look of purpose and determination on the scowling face of the cat. We know what she's capable of. Recently, we've seen、uh, what Sayaka is capable of, her increase in skill. But will that be enough to conquer the cat? I guess we're going to find out here as Sayaka goes right away, starting the match off. And going right for a submission here. Cobra Clutch Sleeper. But the cat able to leverage her way out of that. I've said on many occasions, Sayaka. Is a judoist, a judoka. She's well versed in maneuvers and in leverage, or maneuvers that take advantage of leverage. Pardon me. Oh, and a vicious chop by the cat, followed up by an elbow. The cat looks like she's playing with her prey here. Oh, but here we see Sayaka firing back. A nice leverage maneuver, getting some strikes in. Sayaka again going for that Cobra Clutch Sleeper. Ah, this time doesn't hold on to it too long, just wanted to take her opponent off kilter. Beautiful leverage maneuver there, taking her opponent down. That's what Sayaka is known for. Of course, she can do more than just judo moves. She integrates it very well into the pro wrestling、uh, arena. In fact, I have to say, maybe she integrates it a bit better than her mother, former World's Women's Champion. Her mother was a very strict judoist. And some people would say her matches were actually kind of boring, but、uh, here's Sayaka. She's able to practice much of the, the catch can, catches catch can of pro wrestling here, and integrate her judo style very nicely into it. And what a beautiful maneuver that is! I don't think we'll be seeing that move at the Olympics anytime soon. Again, Sayaka, beautiful arm drag. 
I remember that one episode. I had all those move names memorized. But unfortunately, uh, <laughs> that information has long since been deleted from my vacuous skull. The cap. Going behind. Reverse suplex. Beating on Sayaka. And a vicious clothesline. Takes down the young opponent. Wait a minute, what's this? Is this finished already? Whoa! Sayaka will have none of that. And of course, all of this is happening right in front of referee Tommy Thompson's face. I do not respect Tommy Thompson, but I do respect that maneuver. Saika going right to work on that arm, wrenching that arm out of the socket there. Perhaps making it easier for her to pull off her arm throws. Elbow to the knee, which does not feel good. I am pretty sure of that. Another nice arm drag takedown. Sayaka, waiting for her opponents. Oh! She was a little too, uh, a little too quick on the draw there, and the cat was able to quickly extinguish her. Extinguish that momentum. Sayaka. Fighting back here. This is no longer the intimidated youngster we saw in that first match, that World Tour match. This is definitely a different Sayaka. She's definitely been through the paces, but... She was on the receiving end of that backdrop. And again, that beautiful arm drag maneuver. She is concentrating on that arm there. Maybe she wants to weaken that arm just in case uh, Kuburero gets any ideas of going to the crowd and getting any more of her uh, aforementioned plunder. Beautiful maneuver. And a punch to the face to good measure. And again, wrenching that arm, that left arm right out of its socket. Sayaka, still on the offensive here. Beautiful arm drag. What, is this it? Sayaka looks like she's positioning her. Tommy Thompson, one, two, and no. Two count. Tommy Thompson there in perfect position to catch that. In perfect position to be able to see the, uh, the positions of the shoulders. Tolerable tie-up. Sayaka, flipping her opponent around. The great OJFWA technique, making the pizza. Wait a minute, what is this? Sayaka, knocking her head, her opponent's head on that bottom turnbuckle there. That's not necessarily a move that's taken seriously. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! She blasts with that STO out of nowhere. Tommy Thompson counts to three. Sayaka wins this encounter. A very impressive showing by the young Sakura Sayaka. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to waste any time. Let's take you right now to footage from the last encounter between Yubari and Shi Xing. Kicking Yubari to the outside. Now it looks like the former stunt woman Shi Xing has been tossed back into the ring. Yubari positioning her opponent here. Oh, what a nice forearm on the part of Yubari. Xing trying to roll out of the way, but Yubari was ready for it. And she was ready for that kick as well. Or Xing is not out of this yet. And neither is Yubari. Yubari tossing Shing down, but missing with a kick of her own. However, still many maintaining control until now. What a nice judo move on the part of Shi Sing. And wait a minute, what's this? What's this? Good God! 
What a kick to the back of the head! That could cause permanent damage! Yubari's still in this though, but I don't know. Oh! With all those kicks to the face and the head, I don't know how, how, pres how much presence of mind she must have right now. Shishing knocks to the outside. Colorable tie up. Shing able to struggle out of it. Shing tossing Yubari back into the ring. They both want to end this by pinfall. Or at the very least, submission. Oh, God! Shing jumping off Yubari's knee and smacking Yubari dead straight in the face with her leg. Yubari with nice arm drag. However, I wonder if Yubari has enough presence of mind there still with all those kicks to the head to remember to keep the attack to the legs. Shing sent to the ropes and up. Whoa! Beautiful release German suplex on the part of Yubari. Yubari again, taking that, that leg, going for the spinning toe hole. And what's this? I think it, I think I could see Shing's eyes rolling to the back of her head. Is, is this, is this what I think it is? She, yes, she's, she's passed out. Shing has passed out due to the pain. One, Tommy Thompson, one, two, two and three. three. Yubari with the victory. The losing streak is over. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the rematch between those two we just saw in that clip from OJFWA Fight TV, episode five. This is the former Hong Kong stunt woman, Shi Xing, good friend of Amy Chan's, longtime friend. However, when she and Amy Chen get in the ring, it usually ends up being pretty vicious, going to the outside, and Ching is not afraid to show that level of viciousness to a friend. She's certainly not afraid to show it to her opponent. Shi Xing, ready for action, and so is this woman, the one who picked up the victory last time, as you just saw. She is the ever-exciting Yubari. Quite frankly, one of our most high-demand performers. Making appearances on various TV variety shows recently. And there she is, Yubari. One thing we never go on about, we know that she's friends with the world champ, Mary Regan. We know that she's one half of the women's tag champions, again, with Mary Regan. And we also know that she wants a shot at Mary Regan's title. Uh, but one thing we don't know, we're not very, well, not that we don't know, but we're, we, we, we don't push it enough, is that Yubari, uh, she's very multi-talented, quite multi-talented. And she's been on a number of talk shows, but her number one goal, her number one dream as far as TV is to get on an American game show. We'll see how that goes. But as you recall from those clips, last time these two locked horns, it was Yubari with that victory after that spinning toe hold, after Shi Xing passed out from the pain. Time will only tell if the same thing will happen, but it looks like Xing is going right on the attack, knocking Yubari to the outside. Oh, what a kick by Yubari in a move that usually we only see Shi Xing doing. Shi Xing or Amy Chen. Maybe she picked something up from her opponent. Yubari wasting no time introducing Shi Xing's face to those steel steps. We'll be back after this. Senti, guarda, dobbiamo andare, non posso. Che dobbiamo andare? Ma, dobbiamo scendere questo giorno. Prendi giorno. quello che devo fare. Chira chira sta e va mi nicui. Toyo Jizu ni motozuki. Watashi wa aru video o erabu ni itatta. No, non possibile. Ma no. NEC wa S-Digital Noise Wiper. Chicken Mac Nuggets.
ゲットがおいしく揚がりました熱々のおいしさを特製ソースで召し上がれ Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And as you can see during the commercial break, this has not left the arena floor. Ibari taunting Shishin to get up. Back and forth with these strikes. Shi Xing does not want to lose a second time here. And Yubari certainly does not want to lose. Both back in the ring now. Yubari pulling Shi Xing closer to the center of the ring. Strike blocked by Shi Xing. Ching going for what she knows best, those kicks. However, Yubari turns the tide here. Ducks under. Oh my god! What a beautiful shining wizard type maneuver by Shi Xing. But she's not done here and a beautiful drop kick to the face. Absolutely beautiful maneuvers pulled off by Shi Xing. Now she has Yubari in that camel clutch. Yubari powering out of it. Momentum can change in a flash there, especially with Shi Xing and her vicious strikes. Mainly her kicks. Going to work on that leg. And then switching to the back of the head. Yubari's fighting back still, but if Xing can keep that attack to the head, maybe she could pull off a submission maneuver or even knock out her opponent. In the history of OJFWA related companies, the knockout has always been the much prized winning method. To many of our competitors here in OGFWA, the knockout is the truest form of victory. Nice arm drag by Yubari. And of course, Yubari's forte is those submissions. Working on that arm as she is apt to do, both her and her tag team partner, Mary Regan. Oh, what a kick by Yubari, who's not too shabby with him herself, but in a move similar to what we saw Sayaka pull off, that, that, that leverage maneuver taking down Yubari. And Shi Xing just diving onto her opponent, non-stop. Yubari sends her to the corner. Yubari making a little pizza in the corner. Shi Xing goes to the behind. Little tit for tat there. Oh God, a knee to the face. Oh my God. Sorry, Joey Styles. Sorry to steal that one from you. Looks like Yubari might see a weakness here in those very same legs that Shi Xing loves to use for her kicks. To the ropes here. Leap, but Yubari way too smart for that. She saw what happened last time. Oh! Enzigiri! Ching still on the attack. Does an arm drag that momentarily discombobulates uh, Yubari, but Yubari fighting back with that running neck breaker of hers. Yubari sending Shing into the corner, celebrating as Shi's leg gave out. 
Yubari sensing victory here. Is she going to try for that step over her toe hold again? Whoa! She's seeing with that athleticism. Rolling over the back of Yubari, and what a beautiful kick square to the face. Again, Shishing using those legs, those potentially weakened legs, to kick at Yubari. We know that if Shishing cannot run too much at this point, Yubari has done a lot of damage to those legs. Looks like this is uh, Yubari's game plan here, perhaps, to go for that step over toe hold again, perhaps to repeat history. But it looks like Shishing is desperate to not have that happen again. And another kick to the face. It's like despite the pain her legs may be in at this moment, Shi Xing is still going to fight on. She's still going to kick away. Oh, again. With that step over wheel kick. A little bit of back and forth here. And again, Shi Xing sees fit to go for those kicks again. But you gotta figure with those, those weakened legs. She does it too much. She's going to uh, deplete the effectiveness of those kicks. Xing pulling Yubari down. However, Xing. Tossing Yubari back into that ring. Looks like Shing's taking a breather here. Very smart. Shing, however, was caught off guard there. Oh! Oh, God! Shing is vicious with those kicks. Oh my god! Beautiful Shining Wizard type maneuver again to the face of Yubari. Wait a minute, is this it? Tommy Thompson counts one, two, and no, only two. She thought she had her there. What a nice roll through maneuver. However, way too close to the ropes. Shing has actually picked up a few victories uh, during her training with that maneuver. She considers that roll, she calls it the Manami roll, uh, one of her specialties. Yubari, fighting back to the back here. And again, Yubari going after those legs, especially that time with that chop block. I think Yubari is sensing victory. Although right now she must be sensing quite a bit of pain as she is under attack. Shing, that headlock, leading up to that kick to the, the head there. And what a springboard splash that was. Beautiful maneuver. However, Shing is not done here. I thought she could pin Yubari there. Yubari ducking under. Oh! But there we see the damage to the legs. We see the very real damage to the legs of Shi Xing. Xing not able to keep up the running there. Not able to keep running. However, that's not going to stop Xing. Xing is full of heart. And certainly if there's one thing... Oh my god, what a beautiful clothesline. And certainly as I was saying, if there's ooh, one thing that Yubari has plenty of, that's heart. However, sometimes I wonder about the effect of that conversation she had with Moami Amano at Yuki Matsuri had on the heart of Yubari. Haven't been able to talk much with Yubari lately. But, however, what a beautiful spider suplex. Wait a minute, what's this? Sizing her up. And good God! Moonsault diving stomp. My God, I've never seen something. But Yubari! Yubari able to catch here. Tommy Thompson won two. No. Oh my God, what a sequence. 
I've never seen a move like that before in my life. And I've certainly never seen anybody reverse a pinfall like that after a move like that. And a drop kick. A little bit off the mark there, though. And a Hurricane Rana by Yubari. She's picked up a few victories with that maneuver as well. As has her partner, her tag team partner, Mary Regan. What a beautiful clothesline. Yubari sends in, she's ready for that leg drop. Nice maneuver. I'm still in shock about that maneuver that Shi Xing pulled off. And I'm doubly in shock that Yubari still had the wherewithal to reverse that pinfall. Absolutely amazing competitors we have here in OJFWA. Absolutely amazing. Which is why I've taken it upon myself, me, Johnny Walters, to... Wait a minute. We have a submission here. And Yubari taps. Shing wins the second match. Unbelievable match. I guess you got to figure after a maneuver that she went through, that she experienced right there after that beautiful maneuver off the top rope. You got to figure Yubari didn't have much in the tank after that. And as we saw there, those kicks to the head certainly working in Shi Xing's favor. Well, like I was about to talk about, uh, well, I'll talk about it next time. Beautiful match. Wonderful victory. Shi Xing deserves it. And that's not taking anything away from Yubari either. And ladies and gentlemen, next week you do not want to miss this. We have another debut. This time of Olga Jagger. See you next time on Fight TV. Vamos voltar no Rei Cadê?